Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. In this video, I wanna show you how you can build web applications using Formaloo. It's pretty easy and let me share my screen. So in this video, I will show you how you can do it with three samples. One of them is an agency talent management application. One of them is a content calendar template and the other one is a project tracker. So let's see how it works. For the first project, uh, and, and by the way, the good news is all of them are in the templates gallery and you can use them and customize it for yourself. So uh, the first project is a tal agency talent management where application, uh, you can also have it on your mobile application, but uh, let's now focus on the web application. So the talent management, how it works. I have uh, imported my um, database using Excel sheets. One of the Excel sheets was related to my clients. It included all my clients. The other one included all my talents and the other one included all my projects. And I imported them using this button at the top. You can import, it, uh, import them too. And uh, you can connect them by editing the formulas that are created for you. And for example, you can use the lookup fields to look up the data of your talents inside your projects. And so you can, your projects, is, your one of your projects is assigned to a talent. For example, it has an account manager. Let me show you how it is. If you go to the responses tab, you will see that, for example, this project is uh, assigned to, is for this client and has this account manager. And if you click on the account manager, you will see its data the skills and uh, where they are located and other stuff, other information that you have saved on your uh, talent, basically. So let's get back to this folder. And here I have uh, all my data, all my databases. Each of these formulas are part of my database. And here I have created a formula. It's uh, empty. If I will show you how it is. I created it. Um, so basically this is the submit button and this is the uh, logo, my logo I've added it at the top of my formula. And here is a button I've added it with a section field. So by clicking on this, I, I will see my web application. So this is what I've created. And each of these menu items includes uh, one different type of data. For example, this one is all my projects. If I click on it, I'll see all of my projects in the table and I can um, go to their info and I can filter the table. If I click on one of these tags, I will see uh, its filter. I will see the table filtered. Uh, let me close this uh, window and edit the web application. When I click on the edit button, I will get to the editor page. And if I click on this edit, I can add any of these tabs or uh, I can delete any of these tabs or add a new tab. For example, here I have a group and I have some subgroups. I can also add a new menu. Let me add a new menu and show, show you how it works. You can rename it however you want. Let me add an item. You can add a link. You can add a group. Let me add a group to show you how it's um, done. For example, uh, I'll add it, um, I'll name it all projects and add a subgroup to it. Uh, I'll choose data and here I will select all projects formula. Here, here is a list of all my formulas and I can choose from them. Um, here, I will choose the all projects formula. formula. Its title is all projects. And here I can title it any way I want. For example, a list of all. Or for example, all projects. So you can add changes color to, and you can choose uh, whether you want to show the data or the form. So if you choose the form, you can choose uh, which fields or all fields um, to be visible. And in the data, you can choose what, uh, what should the view be. For example, it can be a table or a chart. We're adding more uh, views here. So you can add it uh, in different views, but for now it's table and chart. Uh, and later you will have gallery view, Kanban view, um, like in columns and different views will be added. 
also map view different views. Uh, so for now we have table and chart. The table, if I choose the table, you can see that uh, all your projects are visible here and you can um, uh, you can also um, sort them and hide uh, columns if you don't want to um, if you don't want to see some specific columns for example the referred address I don't want to see it or the date I don't want to see it here so I hide them and remember to click on the save for everyone the exciting thing the exciting thing here is that I can uh, filter my table, for example, based on the status, and I want to see only the in progress uh, projects. So here's my filter table, and I can save it as a new table. So if I click on this uh, arrow button, I can save this filter as a new table, and I can name it uh, the in progress. Perfect. So here I have in progress uh, projects and I can, for example, hide the status column because I know it's in progress for all of them. So I don't want to see it, see it here. I can add more data. For example, let's see, let's add uh, the charts of these all projects. Um, I'll name it charts for now. And uh, let's show the chart. You can show all the charts that are available on this table of all projects, or you can choose the specific fields and can choose which fields you want to be visible. And to get an idea uh, of how it works and uh, what charts are available, you can go to that uh, all projects formula. I'll go here. Oh, it's, it's named project status. So I should change this to project. Here, when I uh, click, uh, and here when I click on the select specific fields, I can choose from the fields of this uh, project status. And to get an idea of how, what charts are created, you can go to this formula, go to the charts tab, and here are all, all the charts that are created for that. So I don't want to see the views over time or responses over time chart, and I want to see the status and the project type um, charts. So here I can choose them, the status and the project type. Perfect. And I and I click the submit button, and here are my charts. And I can and I can see uh, which project, how many projects are in each state, and also uh, the type of projects that my agency is handling right now. Also, you can uh, manage your talents because this is a talent management app. Remember. So let me delete this one and all uh, things inside it. Let me show you how it is. Because it's about talents, we have a table of talents here and also the account managers. And I can see uh, which uh, account manager is active and who is not active. Uh, so you can use charts and tables to visualize that and see what's happening and which account managers are working on which projects. And uh, you can see everything in one place and it's perfect, it's perfect. And also you can add a, a link. Here is a link. Let me uh, save it and show you how it works. Uh, if you can click on this I button, and this is the public link of your application, and you can share it with anyone. And uh, you can also embed it in an iframe. It's perfect. So um, the link, if you click on the link, you can redirect your uh, users to a new website or uh, different things. And this is how the um, subgroups work. So here I have created a group and here are my subgroups. And they are the same as, as these links, but they are categorized under another group. Yeah, and also as you, as I showed you, you can build as many as these menus as you want. So let me show you the other application. The other one is for content calendar and I have added, imported my uh, database using Excel sheets from this button again. And uh, one Excel sheet was for content pipeline, another was for my campaigns, and another one was for my results, the results that I'm tracking for my campaigns. And also here is a, a, a database for my team members. So I've created an application. And by the way, uh, you don't have to create a new formula for each of your applications. Each of these formulas have the potential to become an application. And by clicking on 
uh, each formal loop and going to the app builder, you can create an app on top of that formal loop. But uh, for the sake of um, ease, I created um, my application in a different, in a separate formal loop. And um, yeah. And the third uh, application that I created was uh, for project tracker. And here it is. Uh, so the project tracker also is, uh, has all tasks, all projects, and all clients, uh, databases, and also my team. So let me show you the application itself. Uh, if I click on the view, you can see that, uh, again, I added a button here, and also here is my sub uh, sub uh, submit button. And by clicking on the view, you can see my application. I have added three menus here. Uh, the first menu was project, the second one was tasks, and the third one was clients. So I can uh, manage each of them in a separate menu and in a separate uh, place, but at the same time, they're all in the same uh, workspace and in the same web page, which makes it perfect. So uh, by clicking on the all projects, I can see all of my projects. And you can, of course, you can filter them and click on the client to see more details about the client. For example, this one uh, is uh, here. And also you can filter them based on the project lead uh, and the team members. And yeah, you can add uh, different things to your um, uh, formal loop uh, to be visible here. Uh, and for editing each of these, you can uh, go to the, that specific formal loop and edit it. For example, for this all projects, um, I can go to the all projects formal loop and edit it. And here is my name, category, status, client. And for example, the status has in progress and complete. You can add more status to it and uh, it will be visible here and you can edit it uh, basically. So here, if I click on the edit web app, uh, you can edit each of these rows and select the status and change the status. And if I uh, change the status of this um, task, for example, this project convertible 3000 laptop. So if I um, edit and change its status to in progress, it will be moved into my in-progress projects. This is all projects. The first one is all projects, so it won't be moved there. But if it was filtered uh, for on, uh, if, if it was filtered on the complete um, projects only, and if I uh, change this, its status to in-progress, it will be moved to the in-progress and it wouldn't be visible here anymore. So, and uh, again, since it doesn't have any filter here, it will be visible and it, it will show all the projects. Perfect. So uh, again, this is the in progress uh, projects that uh, is a filter of uh, the first table. And here I have created the complete projects, which is again, another uh, filter. And if I, for example, uh, this project uh, is in progress and uh, I want to move it to the complete projects because it's complete, for example. And so I can edit it, move it to the in progress, uh, move it to the complete and save it. So it's moved from here and you can see the complete projects that, let me show you all the rows. Yeah, and here is my project and it's moved to the complete projects. Perfect, now let me move it back to the in progress and it will be moved back to the in progress projects. And uh, here is uh, the status of all my projects. I have added the charts so I can visualize everything in the same place. And also I can add a new project here. So the new project uh, table, uh, the new project from Alu is using um, lookup fields to look up the data of the tasks and the clients. So here I have a tasks dropdown uh, that I can um, choose the tasks, the already existing tasks, and also I can add a new task. For example, I'm creating a project here and I wanna add the tasks right away. I click on this button 
and add the task. And also I can create the subtasks here and uh, they will be saved at the same time with the task. And it will be automatically selected here. And I can add notes of the project, add the image of it and other data. And also it, it, the same happens for the clients. I can uh, choose the existing clients or create a new clients here. Perfect. So uh, again, if you want to edit it, you can go to this formula and edit it yourself. And here are all the tasks I have. And as you can see, each of them have subtasks and I can mark them, which of them are uh, completed and which of them are still in progress. And by editing it, you can see that uh, here are my uh, list of tasks and I can follow through them. And here is all clients and yeah, they are connected to uh, my projects and I can see which projects are um, for which uh, clients. Perfect. And by clicking on the filter and sorts, you can see all the filters or remove them. And by clicking on the hide columns, you can hide or show columns. Also, it has a dark mode. Yeah. And here are some other um, reports and also the exciting part that I forgot to say is uh, the reports uh, more there are more reports coming up so you can add more reports right here for example uh, for your uh, project tracker app you want to show some custom reports and um, that you can add here and um, it's pretty exciting so yeah um, there are uh, many opportunities for this and many possibilities to uh, create different apps for your use cases. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you, if you want to see any specific use case in the templates gallery so you can uh, pick it up and customize it for yourself and build your app in a snap. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Have a nice day or night and bye for now.